Building materials is a very important subject from the exam point of view. Hello everyone. My name is Shiva Reddy and I'll be your faculty for building materials subject. This is a tailor made course for SSCJ, MPSC, UPPSC, TSPSC and all the state services. In SSCJ in the prelim stage out of 100 technical question you will be getting 20 plus question from this subject. In the main stage also approximately 10% that is 30 marks out of 300 marks will be from this subject and if you observe all the state services also almost same weightage will be there as compared to the other subjects in civil engineering. Why do you think such a high weightage is there? Because when you enter into the service most of the time your job is to supervise the quality execution at site. Quality execution as per specification in the contract. Major part of this quality execution is the quality of building material which you have to use. Now as a site engineer you should know as you should know that what all test you have to do in lab or at field to ensure that good quality building materials are being used for execution. This only examiner is checking that the candidate has the basic knowledge of building materials or not for doing this clear so that is why such a high weightage is there in this course we have to understand 11 chapters here i'll try to introduce each one how it is taught first one timber timber we'll be getting from trees we'll cut them into logs and after different different processes we will be getting our timber section your plywood and other industrial timber one more important parameter from your side point of view is the moisture content. Moisture content in your timber section. It should be perfect moisture content. If it is not right, then your section will absorb moisture from outside atmosphere and change dimension. This will induce unnecessary stresses in your structure. So that is why moisture content becomes important. Now, how will you choose that? Basically, India's map is divided into four zones depending on the relative humidity relative humidity four zones are decided you will decide where your structure is coming depending on that depending on that you will be choosing a particular zone okay you will choose a zone after that usage let us say i am taking windows in windows if it is coming in zone 1 i'll be taking 10% if it is zone 4 i'll be taking 16% so 10 to 16 percent will be the range and these kind of questions only will be asked in your exam also simple now we'll move on to stones we have to understand the origin of stones how the igneous rocks are made what are the sedimentary rocks what are the metamorphic rocks we'll move on to your bedding plane how the bedding plane has to be perpendicular to your loading direction okay that we'll understand after that lime chapter in lime chapter you have to understand the lime cycle basically this lime cycle you have to understand and after that we'll understand what is lime putty how it is made how plaster of paris is made out of gypsum all those things we'll understand in lime chapter after this we'll move on to bricks different different bricks are there modular bricks are there perforated bricks are there hollow bricks cellular bricks all different types of bricks are there after that one point i would like to explain is tolerance let us say at site at site you are getting your bricks delivered that lot will you accept or not that depends on what okay so let us say you have to understand the size you will not be measuring one one brick at a one time what is the procedure basically you have to place 20 bricks in a row after that let us say these are modular bricks standard size is how much 19 centimeter or 190 mm if 20 are placed what will be the length what will be the length it will be 3800 okay and the tolerance how much you will accept plus minus 80 mm that will give you a range if 
the length of these 20 bricks measured by tape falls in this range you will be saying accepted otherwise rejected clear likewise you will get for width okay and your height also same 20 you have to place in a row after that we will be understanding different different shapes what are the is code in which it is given okay now cement how the manufacturing is done in cement let us say dry process in this we have to understand crusher blender preheater then your rotary clean then your clinker silo will come and your ball mill and then you will get your packaged cement after this understand and different different questions will be understanding see in your hydraulic structure in your hydraulic structure box compound which is c2s why it is preferred over c3s that we will understand why external sulfate attack will destroy your concrete that we will understand basically ettringite formation is there okay if it is before setting it free expansion is there no stresses but after setting after setting if ettringite formation is there means your boundaries are rigid now expansion is happening it will destroy your concrete okay this process we will understand what is the difference between false set and flash set that we'll understand next we'll move on to aggregates different different tests we have to perform namely let's say toughness test how you have to prepare your sample understand it will be passed through 12.5 mm then it will be passed through 10 mm and this whatever is left will be your sample clear now this is how you will be getting your sample now let's say abrasion test final result when you are telling that time it will be 1.7 mm sieve you have to pass and this you have to tell how much pass through it okay now we have to understand how aggregate has to be added in which state you have to add your aggregate basically surface should be dry and the void should be full of moisture clear next chapter is our admixtures in this different different admixture types we will understand your next chapter will be your water quality of water in getting your concrete okay in mixing your concrete all these points on these four ingredients you have to add in getting your concrete next in concrete chapter we will be understanding the process by which you are getting your concrete and different different properties understand depending on the state fresh state and hardened state you will be getting workability and strength and durability these are properties which become important from the exam point of view clear now we have how we will be measuring the compressive strength how the flexural strength has to be measured next you have your factors affecting strength of concrete so these topics become very very important okay obviously workability and factors affecting workability your non-destructive testing everything will be covered after this we have two chapters which are motor and miscellaneous chapters in motor depending on the usage we will be finding out that in which proportion we have to mix the ingredients in miscellaneous chapter we have our paints steel and other few topics clear so this will be the 11 chapters we have to understand in complete course of building materials now where you can purchase this course you have to download the deep learn app from the play store in deep learn app whatever courses you have purchased it will be displayed in the dashboard if you want to buy another course you have to go to store in store all the gate and engineering services courses are already up now we have launched ssc j courses also in ssc j course when you scroll up you will observe there are two categories first is complete course and another one is single subject courses so we have sscj general studies complete course another one is sscj civil engineering complete course and all the single subject courses are also there you can purchase any of them thanks for listening and uh, for more such content please consider subscribing thank you